welcome to Den of Tools. Hi, me ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And we've got our, our start for the real Memorial Day sales going on. First, we're doing it today over at Lowe's. We're going to have Home Depot for you tomorrow. So let's jump into it real quick and talk about the deals that we have over here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the flyer first, and then we're going to go through some of the items one by one. You may think the, the savings are a little scarce just looking at the flyer, but don't worry. We got more stuff for you here. So here we go. We got a bunch of mulch. We got some uh, flowers and stuff like that. We got a heavy duty hose here. This is a 5 8 inch hose by 50 foot for $20. If it's non kinking, it actually is heavy duty. That's a decent price on it. Uh, we got uh, we got pressure washer. Uh, the Greenworks 169 for the electric pressure washer. And we have a gas powered. How very uh, uh, retro of you. $250 for the Craftsman. Uh, with the Briggs and Stratton engine in it, uh, we got a six seating outdoor folding table and chair set for fifty dollars. Honestly, that's not a bad deal on something like that. Uh, we got uh, also grills here. We're going to talk more about grills here in just a bit. But we got the Charbroil Performance Five Burner Gas Grill for one eighty eight. This thing's actually kind of a sleeper. We're going to talk more about that. And we've got, of course, my favorite in the pellet smokers, which is the Pit Boss for 378. Yeah, full disclosure, they did send me a grill last year, and I owe them some videos and stuff. That whole COVID and winter thing got in the way. But we're going to do some more cooking as soon as I get back up to Montana in a, in a week or two here. Anyway, let's get on to the next page of the flyer here. We got some more gardening equipment, outdoor kinds of potting mixes. Uh, again, more flowers, perennials, that sort of stuff. And a patio pickers portable raised garden bed for $30. That's you're if you're looking for a small garden, like if you got like just an apartment or something, you want to get some greenery going, maybe that's your uh, your choice right there. All right, we got lawn booster, rapid grass, we got all the good chemicals, everything that's gonna give you cancer right here, all on sale. I mean, Roundup. I'm surprised they still let them sell this stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I use it, it does the job, but there's been so many lawsuits against them for causing cancer. This, that's like Agent Orange. Anyway, this stuff here, the home defense from Ortho, that stuff works, brother. I have, I've used that to, uh, like the spider stuff. When we were in California, black widows were everywhere around our house. And I had to, once or twice a year, do the whole perimeter of the house to, with this stuff just to uh, get rid of those buggers. All right, down here, we got a little giant. Let me click on this so we can get you a pop-up on that. This is a slightly different take on the standard Little Giant ladder. This is the uh, the 2.0 Combo uh, Pro 6-foot 3-in-1 aluminum step ladder. As you can see here, the hinge is one step down from the top, giving you something to lean against. Gives you a little tray and stuff up there for working on. Slightly different. Let me know what you think about that kind of setup. Is that better than the standard A-frame style one? Anyway, $154. It's a little more expensive than the... Uh, than the average sale price on a little giant, but you know, it's the version 2.0, so you're probably gonna pay more for the privilege there. All right, we got a bunch of cleaners and stuff out here. We got some simple green. That's actually good stuff. I actually like that. Uh, moving on to the next one. We, as I said, we got more grills. We got some Kingsford for $4.99. We got the uh, the three piece set there. You got your tongs, your fork, and your spatula for $9.97. You got some big block. I have no idea. Komodo Joe. Maybe it's pretty decent, actually. $19, 20 bucks on that. Then we're talking about grills again. We got the Weber grill here, $50 off. They have that for $7.79. Okay, then we got the classic Weber grill up here in blue. It may have come in other colors there. I'm not sure. $1.99. I, you know what? These are great grills. Uh, I grew up using them. They're, they're well made, but $200 for a, a steel pot just seems a bit excessive. But if you think that's excessive, we got the Komodo Joe next to it for $650, which considering the normal price on it is actually quite a steal. Also, look at this. We're going to talk about this in a minute. Lowe's is now carrying Pit Boss, as we uh, we discussed earlier. The the uh, you know I'm a big fan of theirs, so we'll be talking more about that. All right, we got some outdoor uh, coverings here. These things really expand the usability of your backyard. I got to tell you, having a nice outdoor covered area really expands the use of your home during the during the summer and even the spring and fall months, especially if you're uh, places like in Vegas and stuff. That's a necessity. That sun will kill you. Having something like that makes it so nice. We got fire pit there for $84.98. And not my favorite kind of fire pit, but uh, maybe that's something you like. 
I will say this, these Suncast uh, 50 gallon stony resin deck boxes, these things are nigh indestructible. And for $90, that's not a bad price on that. You might be able to get a better deal, but they're, they're good boxes, That I can say that much. All right, we got Ego, number one rated battery powered outdoor platform or whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ego Motors, uh, mower starting at $399. We're gonna talk more about these in a little bit. We got this Cobalt deal. This is a nice deal right here. 179 this is the 40 volt system okay so you're going to get the the battery the charger the trimmer and the blower at 40 volts this thing has some significant power this is not a bad combo stacking these two together if you were to go this route because you're going to get the the lawnmower basically other than a hedger and if you don't have any hedge then you don't need a hedger <laughs> that's your outdoor power equipment solution for your basic homeowner right there and 40 volts will do most jobs i mean even some we use 40 volt mowers you know the kids use it for the stuff that they do lawns around town in in livingston during the summer and they use 40 volts on everything and it works just fine and they do some some gnarly kind of jobs all right we got craftsman we got uh we got gas powered here we got the trimmer we got a lawnmower we got a slew of pressure washers and then we got two electric pressure washers this one really looks very similar. Doesn't Ryobi have one just like this? Which is odd because that's TTI versus Stanley Black & Decker. But they they look really similar. I wonder who they're OEMing that from. All right. Then we got some appliances here. Now, we're going to talk more about the appliances later. I'll be honest. I you, Like, you see these kind of front-end loading machines? They're nice. They're pretty to look at. And if you have them up on the pedestal, they may be easy to use. But the longevity of these things is they're not known for that. And we're going to talk more about that in just a bit. The Hisense, we actually have this freezer up in Montana. This thing is just a good value. It holds a lot. And it just, like we we brought it from Vegas, fully loaded. All right. And it made the trip, plugged it in, was just fine. This thing is a beast. I couldn't believe it. We're talking about vacuums real quick. The LG. Now, I like LG appliances and stuff. I've, I have an, had an LG TV, I've had LG uh, washing machine, uh, some other LG stuff. I like it, but 549 that's, I mean, it's not Dyson level prices, but that's still kind of pricey. We get the Bissell at 139 but check this out. And it comes with a free battery also. This is a Craftsman V20. So if you're in the Craftsman line, this is like we talk about with Hart and with Ryobi. I can't believe we're seeing Craftsman doing this. This is awesome. I hope more power tool companies. I mean, they've already approached the outdoor power equipment. Let's talk about the in the house power equipment, you know, vacuums and stuff like that. And whatever, what else you can come up with? We're all still waiting for our cordless pizza ovens. Let's be honest. But anyway, that's great. Throws in a free battery because those Craftsman batteries ain't cheap. <laughs> still going along. We got some flooring. We got some more hardware kind of stuff, all the kind of fixtures and whatnot. Let's see what else we got here. We got more fixtures, ceiling fans, nice looking ceiling fans, uh, paint, all sorts of paint, you know, well, it is that time of the year to get ready for, you know, to spring into uh, fixing up your house. And we got the Tiki torches. This is kind of nice. I like a good Tiki torch. Buy for $15. That's not a bad one right there. And then, of course, we got the pool equipment. I got to tell you, I will not own a house in Vegas again that does not have a pool. Oh, it's killing me. <laughs> anyway, but for those of you who have a pool, I don't care. I, nobody likes you folks. All right, let's jump into some of the more specific items. All right, here we got power tools. And we're going to see a whole bunch of DeWalt and one Craftsman pair. Now, the Craftsman is, this is 100 bucks. This is going to get you the drill driver and the impact driver, two batteries, the charger, and the bag. This is the br basic brushed set. It's not going to you know blow your hair back or anything like that, but it's a decent, it's an okay, okay. I didn't like the drill driver. I thought kind of underpowered maybe i'm kind of a snob but at a hundred bucks at 150 dollars, it was offensive at a hundred bucks okay i can see it that's not a bad price you're basically getting them for 50 bucks a pop that's not that's not too bad a deal for that all right we got the dewalt now remember this is the dewalt when you see that little black and white stripe there that means this is the brushless stuff they push around the holidays this is their mid-tier stuff you don't see that often this is not a bad deal 160 dollars. you're getting a brushless impact a brushless drill driver two 1.3 batteries those are kind of cheesy and you're getting the charger in the bag uh that's the other thing on these combo deals during the holidays 
DeWalt not only cheaps out on the batteries, but their chargers are not usually the top-notch chargers either. It's something that'll get you started. They're a decent tool. You can buy better batteries down the road. All right, if you just want the drill driver, that's a hundred bucks. Now, if you want the XR, this is stepping up to their top of the line stuff here. Maybe, okay, not the top, top of the line, like the, the flex volt stuff, but in the standard 20 volt, this is a pretty good deal here. $279 gets you the impact driver and the hammer drill, plus two decent batteries and a charger and a bag. That's going to be a way better deal for $279, saving $70 on that one. Next up, we've got the DeWalt's. This, this, don't, don't even, don't even look at this. This one is junk. This is why I'm I'm down on Stanley Black and Decker and stuff like this. This is a this is a terrible drill. It's just your basic basic brush. It's been out for it, it is probably old enough to vote at this point. It's been out so long, and I you know you can literally if you got some gumption you can snap the chuck off of this thing in your hand. It is it doesn't have deserve the Dewalt name on it, and definitely not at a hundred dollars. Next to that, we got the uh, brushless impact there for a hundred bucks. That's not bad. We got us a a Bosch Bulldog here. Whoops, went a little too far there. Eighteen volt amped, three quarter inch SDS. Uh, sorry, variable speed cordless rotary hammer. Now let's see. Some of these were coming up with, uh, you know, free tools as or free batteries as well. I don't see any of the the bonus on this, but we got to add it to cart to see the price. And if we add it to cart, we can see the price on this is 129 that's not a terrible price on that not terrible at all all right let's move along here and then we got the same craftsman deal i don't get that this thing right here this is the old school 12 volt drill driver that's another one you want to avoid all right and last but not least we got the basic this is the brushed impact it's not a bad tool but i wouldn't buy it for a hundred dollars it no just yeah no all right, so <laughs> over here, we've got, this is the DeWalt DWE 7485. This is the replacement for the 7480. This comes with a stand, $350 with a stand. That's $50 off. Yeah, it used to be cheaper, but, you know, prices on everything, is, and they're going up. All right, let's talk, we talked about tools. Let's talk about some storage here. We got the Craftsman, the, the, I think the best picks here are the Craftsman. We got the uh, the 2000 series in red. Uh, you're looking at 289 for the top, 280 or 389 for the bottom, and then they have the same thing in black. Also, here's the black, the bottom, and the black, and then there's the black one as well. There's a bunch of Gladiator stuff. Also, I got to tell you, the prices on this stuff is not compelling. Uh, this thing's like $700 for this one. The chair, the this, the stool's 70 some dollars. Uh, this thing is $350. This I didn't even know they had these these tool chests here, but uh, I it's great they put the the diamond sheet metal on the front, but this thing's twelve hundred dollars. That's a big no thank you from me. All right, let's move along here. But you know what? When it comes to garage organization, some of the cabinets they make good stuff, and when you can get it on sale, that might be the time to do it. Three fifty. That's a, or three forty three. That's actually cheaper than the same thing from Craftsman. One thirty five. That's not a bad deal either. If you're looking to do some, you know, organizing of, of the old shop and you're looking at the Gladiator stuff and you've been wanting that, this might be the time to do it. it as I said, it's not the cheapest stuff out there. It looks, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of the diamond plate. I know it's got that nice industrial look they're going for, but they are well made. I will give them that. All right, and we got a slew of egos here. Uh, anything from four hundred dollars up to six hundred dollars. These are some excellent mowers. All right, everyone, almost everyone I know who's used these just swears by them. Uh, so get, you know, you got a nice sale price here on those. Not the biggest sale prices we've seen, but you know, coming out of the whole crazy COVID year that we we're in, any kind of sale price at this point is, is a good price. All right, and we got the the blower to go along with it. Then we got that Craftsman gas mower. Here we go. Here's the Cobalt 40 volt mower here on its own with the battery for $350. Here's the trimmer again at, at $139. Why not get the combo? That's what I'm going to say. The one we were talking about on the front page. Uh, let's see. We'll step through some of these other ones. We got a skill. If you're looking to get in the skill 40 volt line, they got their mower there for $279. We get the Ego chainsaw for $219 and the backpack blower for $379. 
Here's the Cobalt 40 volt pole saw for 179. If you really want to get up there and take some limbs down, <laughs> you could do that. All right, and we talked about the rest of the stuff. Next up, let's talk about these grills, okay? 779 on the Weber grill. Now, Weber makes some decent grills. Look at this. This is a three burner system here. Uh, it's, it's decent, but I can't justify that price. Now, let's take a look at this thing here. This is that Charbroil. It's not as shiny and not as pretty looking. I totally get it. It's $188. And you've got five burners in this thing, including this one on the end is a specialized. Let me see if we can do it here. If it, let us, Where's the picture? Here you go. It's a sear one. This one actually goes like three times hotter than all the rest of them. So you can do hardcore searing on that one. This is a nice setup. It's got this now. It says it's gear tracks enabled. I had, I admit, I had to look up what gear tracks is. That's this in whole system here where you can buy char grills, uh, their accessories, and they attach to the side wherever you want. By the way, this thing's got a, uh, what you, a bottle opener built into the side of the cup holder there. I, that's cute, I guess. The, the dials are LED illuminated. How about that? There you can see the, the searing settings you can do on that thing. This thing is... This thing is pretty nice. I mean, all things considered, wait, let me show you this. How about this? The back of it opens up for easy cleaning, access to grease trays and all that kind of stuff. I wish my grill did that. That's that's awesome right there. Are you kidding? Anyway, it's a good setup. I like, I mean, for $188, I might have to replace my little, my little three burner Lowe's special there that we got down here uh, and keep this one down here in Vegas because that, that right there, that's not a bad deal. I uh, also want to point out that Lowe's is offering free delivery and setup, on, or I should say assembly, on any grill over $398 or something like that. Uh, now, real quick, I want to talk about this because it's a big deal that Pit Boss is now at Lowe's. Um, you can order most of them. They have a whole line that you can order in store. I think the only one they have in store is this one and maybe that one they had on sale on the front page. This one's quite a bit of a step up there. Uh, this is their Pro Series, and it's got a bunch of features the other one doesn't have, uh, like Bluetooth and a better grill plate and all this other kind of stuff. Now, people will ask, of course, like, well, why not get a Traeger? Well, this is $350, 850 square foot, has a PID controller, uh, diagonal grill plate, Wi-Fi, all that other kind of stuff. If you want to get that in a Traeger, you're looking at $1,000. Oh, and it's only 780 square inches rather than, you know, the, uh, <laughs> what was the other one? 820. So you're getting a smaller, yeah, you're, or 850, sorry. You're getting a smaller grill with, and it doesn't even have the, uh, the, the same grill surface. It's got the, the standard, I mean, it, those work. I mean, it's what I have on my grill. It works just fine. But I got to tell you that, that diagonal grill service, service is, uh, is top notch. And where is it there? You can see what it looks like. That is that is just great to grill on. I'm actually thinking about buying the upgraded plates to replace mine. This is what the you know what I have on mine is the standard ones. This is the other thing I like about the the uh, Pit Boss is they've got that sear plate. You just pull the little handle on the side of the grill and it opens up the fiery pits of hell right there, and you can just sear like I did with these steaks here, man. <laughs> that that thing is tasty. Anyway, moving along here. We got, all right, we talked about the washer and dryer stuff before. I was talking about the front load stuff. You guys don't know, I did a video fixing my Samsung ones. You know, I love Samsung electronics. Samsung appliances, yeah, let's talk about that in just a second. I talked to a lot of people who repair these after I did that video, and they all said basically, stick with this design, and that Whirlpool's not a bad one to get with. And for $539, this is, I mean, this is the basic design we have down here in Vegas. We have the Samsung, the really nice high-end red front loaders up in Montana. And I can't notice a difference in the clothes. My wife can't tell a difference either. She likes how the other ones look. But, I mean, at this price, if the when those die, die, and I can't repair them anymore, we're, we're not getting new ones. We're getting these. Although, I'll be honest, I wanted to get one of these for the house in, in Montana because, you know, space is a commodity there. Thirteen fifty. What is? Somebody tell me what the deal is with these uh, double stack. I mean, my understanding is they're smaller units. They don't have as much power and stuff, and they're more basic. They don't have all the bells and whistles. They're just stacked. 
13 oh my gosh the price on these things is ridiculous all right we talked about the awnings before my neighbor has this awning i gotta tell you what he's got a beautiful outdoor space there 598 dollars it's 50 bucks off if you have an outdoor space that you need to have covered and also with these drapes it covers the sides as well so you get some of that side protection from the evening sun or if there's too much of a breeze or maybe you want to put a hot tub in there for you and the missus something like that you can have a little privacy just things to consider anyway i love these things i gotta talk about this i want this chair in the worst way first of all i love the wicker look i grew up with wicker wicker like my grandparents had all sorts of outdoor wicker stuff and whatnot and but you know if you've ever gotten a wicker splinter you know exactly what i mean especially if you get one up under the nail yeah wicker looks nice and everything but this new plastic wicker gives you the look kind of the feel none of none of the pain associated or, or the upkeep associated with wicker but i mean this price 550 dollars what is going on with outdoor furniture it's more expensive than indoor furniture and it's usually not made quite nearly as well anyway all right and we talked about samsung before this is the big deal the, the big sale of the of the uh, the the whole memorial day thing sixteen hundred dollars three hundred dollars off this is your 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 double door with the the freezer down underneath this is a a beautiful looking uh refrigerator freezer it is i don't know about you but i'd love to hear some input from the rest of you i won't buy another samsung appliance until i hear that they've upped their quality control because every appliance and we've had several we had a samsung fridge we had a samsung dishwasher got replaced by an lg had a samsung microwave it got replaced by a ge that i just had problems after problems after problems i luckily got rid of the samsung uh refrigerator by selling it with the house but it, it constantly broke and i constantly had to fix it i i don't want another samsung appliance their phones are great their their other electronics are great their appliances i've just had terrible experience with all right and it being memorial day i can't i can't go without mentioning the fact that they have a 10 percent off eligible purchases for every day to active military personnel and veterans you do have to create an account online enter some information and you will have to show an id at checkout but they are really good about it uh and uh they it's, i think it's a better policy than what you see over at home depot and and also you know and i you can't leave this part out they have veterans parking now at almost every store i think they have at least four four spots at every store you gotta like that you you, you got especially on a, on a weekend like this anyway that's the memorial day savings over at lowe's let me know what you think down below in the comments i realize there's no like oh, crazy unicorn kind of prices but for everyday average kind of sales and stuff it's not too shabby especially on some of those grills huh anyway that's all the bear has for you today don't forget to chomp the old like button smash the subscribe ring the bell you all take care god bless and as always shine on